It looks like Gregor Robertson envisioned Vancouver's renewable city strategy has run into its first major obstacle. The BC Utilities Commission rejected, for the third time, a proposal from a company called Creative Energy to construct a biomass plant in False Creek and operate a district energy system. Currently, downtown Vancouver and over 200 buildings are getting their heat from a steam loop powered by burning natural gas. Creative Energy operates the facility and the city of Vancouver admits there is no way to use that system without burning something. So the plan is to use biomass. But that's not why the BC Utilities Commission rejected the proposal. Instead, they were denied because the plan would grant Creative Energy a monopoly. When digging deeper into Creative Energy, some alarm bells went off. First, Creative Energy is owned by Ian Gillespie, a major real estate developer. Currently, his company West Bank Projects Corp. have $12 billion in projects completed or under construction. He has long been closely associated with Vision Vancouver and even hosted a big money fundraiser for the party ahead of the 2011 civic election. Gillespie has also been a large donor to the BC Liberal Party. You can see the hundreds of thousands of dollars his development company has given since 2005. And just for good measure, tens of thousands to the BC NDP as well. Wouldn't want to fall out of favor with anyone if there was a change in government, would he? The way I see it is the close associations between Gillespie, his West Bank Projects Corp, Vision Vancouver, the BC Liberals and Creative Energy give the BC Utilities Commissions a little extra reasoning behind their decision. Monopoly aside, no developer this friendly with the powers in City Hall in Victoria should be granted this kind of risky project. But getting back to the city of Vancouver's plan to end natural gas usage and replace it with biomass. Well, this is something I'm having a lot of difficulty wrapping my head around. According to city manager Sadhu Johnson in a July interview with progressive American publication Vox.com, the city is considering the biomass they will use to be carbon neutral. So what exactly is biomass, you may be wondering? Well, according to most, it is organic waste that would otherwise be destined for the landfill. Johnson has indicated that the city of Vancouver wants to use mostly wood waste that is no longer allowed to be sent to landfills. But that's where they lose me. If biomass is supposedly carbon neutral, and the problem with carbon is its existence in the atmosphere as greenhouse gases, then why on earth are we burning it? Are we not then adding unnecessary emissions to the atmosphere that would not have otherwise been released? This is the kind of nonsense and intellectual dishonesty that causes people to wonder what planet the folks behind the Renewable City strategy are from. If you are like me and concerned not only about the plan to end natural gas use within the city, but also about the potential cronyism between Creative Energy, West Bank Projects, and City Hall, then go to www.badidea.ca. That's badidea.ca. For the Rebel.media, I'm Christopher Wilson. Hey, did you like what you just saw? Well, click here to become a premium member and check out all our full-length shows.